Hi, everybody. This is GM John Fedorovich coming to you from Greenwich Village in New York. Welcome to my May 2005 Simon Master Simul. So we'll get started in about, uh, well, very shortly. And uh, good luck to everybody. And, and I hope you uh, enjoy the Simul and we have a lot of fun. Also, I hope that, um, well, last, last month's Simul uh, was, um, uh, we found that we had a little bit of excitement as, uh, as I got a bloody nose for most of the Simul. But as you can tell, I'm alive and well and uh, feeling pretty good. So I was uh, you know, fine during that. It was just, uh, it looked worse than it was. So let's get started and, uh, and uh, we'll uh, see what happens. Um, lately, I've been very busy with the IC, uh, um, ICC. I was uh, on last week with uh, Lars, Lars Bohansson, and we covered the Gashim Memorial. We covered the last round. And also, the week before that, also, I was on with, uh, with an old friend of mine, Ron Henley, and, uh, and we covered the Gashim Memorial. And that tournament was a lot of fun. And there's a lot of events now. I, I saw that the Russian team championship games were up there, and that's a strong tournament. Hikaru Nakamura just played three games in the Italian team tournament. He was very close to being 2,800, and um, and and then uh, he drew with the Italian IM Sabino Brunello, whose rating is only 2,540, but, I mean, it's a strong player, and, uh, and that put Nakamura down, so... I'm not really sure how he's doing as far as getting over the 2,800 uh, marker goes. Okay, let's get started. Uh, first game against Zena. Uh, I, I usually mix it up. Air, Tran, uh, Air Antrobo, we played last month, I believe. Uh, Brownie Baker, I'm not sure that we've played before. It might be the first time for him. Uh, Buckeye, I'm sure we played, I think... I think Buckeye beat me in some kind of, um, I'm not 100% certain, but I think I was white in a Samish Kings Indian, maybe. And I think he played a pretty good game. Um, uh, so I, I think maybe maybe today I'll try E4 on him. Chess 24, we played every month. And, and we've had some uh, Kings Indians, so I think I'll try E4 against him as well. D4, I think we played. I'm going to go D4 in that game. DLH. Uh, I think I'll play D4 there. Uh, Darnie, Darko, and I'll play D4 there. So, I mean, and Dr. Strange move. I think we've played a number of times, and I think we've had Grunfelds here and there. So I think, I think I'm think i actually going to try C4 against him and see how that goes. Fork and pin, I think we might have played last month or the month before. Try D4 there, too. J. Russell, too, uh, I, I believe we played last month. Uh, Lithos, we've played for sure. I think I'm going to play, try C4 against him. Prepare, not sure uh, if we played before. I'm going to try E4 in that one. Qualm, I think I'll give D4 a try out. And Tahoe Sam, I think Tahoe Sam, I'm not sure. I think we might have had Bogo Indians, so I think I'm going to try E4 against him just to mix it up and get something different. Talakin, I'm pretty sure, well, we've definitely played. I think I'm going to do something new, uh, new with C4. I don't know if my pawn got up to C4. I hope so. And teacher, I think I'm going to go D4. Tired Dad was very concerned about me with the bloody nose. So hello, Tired Dad. Thanks for your concern, but uh, it, uh, it it just looked bad. It was kind of strange. And uh, I'll play D4 against Tired Dad. And Tricky Mate, don't think we've played before. I'll try D4 in that game. Have any Ola? We played a few times, probably a number of times, actually. Maybe I, I, I can estimate this might be our seventh game. Uh, I think I'm going to play D4 against him. I remember I played E4, and we had some interesting French defenses, so I'm going to try D4 against him. And Zebulon, we've had played a number of times also, and I'm going to play D4 against him. We've had some Grunfelds, I think, and now we're back to the beginning. So fork and pin, Queen's Gambit. Tire dead, D4, Knight of Six, Haveniola, Queen's Gambit, Zebel, D4, Knight of Six, too early to tell, Aaron Trobo, same for that, Xena, same for that, DLH, another Queen's Gambit, Tahoe Sam, French Defense, uh, usually in the French Defense, um, I don't know, I'll, I'll see what to, what to play, I 
for years I was I was a um a win hour player and I played some good advanced games for a while and and then the Tarish I sort of think I, I I think I've settled on the Tarish as as being uh what I play now uh Doctor Strange move uh C4 C6 so we'll probably get into a Slav J Russell D4 Knight of 6 tricky mate same thing D E4, Knight of 6, C4. I always go C4. There were days long time ago when I used to play the Benko where I was afraid of playing the Benko. I, I had trouble playing against myself, but now I, I really don't mind playing against the Benko that much. Uh, Buckeye, E4, D6. So we're going to get into maybe a perk. And Fork and Pin, Aaron Trobo. I guess I'll go. I, I, I don't know. I've, I I've, was always, there was a time where I, I allowed Nimzo Indian. But then I just decided that it was easier just to go nine of three. If I was going to play Nimzo in the Alpha White, I would probably go, I would probably pick Queen C2 like everybody else because it's so solid. White almost never loses. Uh, DHL, we're, um, uh, LH, we're in a um, Queen's Gambit. Zebal, probably, probably we're going to have a Grunfeld discussion again. Have any Ola, looks like we're going to get into a uh, Slav. And teacher, maybe a Benko or a Benoni, maybe um, we'll we'll see what sort of things we get out of that. Okay, now, um, Deep Ford has challenged me to a game, but I don't know that I could uh, th that I could accept that. Um, if he wants to get into the simul, uh, he should ask Sandro about it. I don't mind playing a couple extra people if people are late. Doesn't bother me any. I think. You know, 20 is okay, but if I played three or four more people, I don't really think it would take that much longer. And and the simuls are fun. It's not exactly uh, a taxing job here. Okay, with those, I'm going to see what to do here. I'm going to C4, C5, Knight, 3, Knight, C6. I think I'm going to try D4 there. Okay, Tahoe, Sam, I'm going to go for a Tarish variation of a, um, of a French. Buckeye, I think... I think I'm just going to go for a uh, classical perk. That's usually what I play. I think something for something like against a perk, if you played solidly, you'll be okay. Chess 24, maybe another perk. Tired Dad, we're going into a King's Indian of some sort. Zebiles, the Grunfeld, like I said. Fork and pin, I'll go for the exchange variation in the Queen's Gambit. Prepare E4, E5, I play Knight F3. Um, I'll always play Rui Lopez. I think I might have had an English um, teacher. Looks like we're getting into a Benoni. And Dr. Strange move, C4, C6, D4, D5, Knight of 3, E6. And I'm going to just go Queen C2 there, and that gets me into some sort of decent sort of solve. So looks like as far as the openings go, um, I think that I'm uh, pretty happy with it so far. Have any Ola, uh, another Slav. Tahoe Sam has played the exchange variation in the French. Aaron Trobo has gone from a, um, a uh, Queen's Indian move order, and he's gone D5. So we'll get into a Queen's game, but I can't play the exchange variation. So that's the benefit for Black faking the Nimzo and then, and then going into a regular Queen's Gambit. Fork and pin will be an exchange variation. And now Tired Dad, I guess I've been messing around with the same ish for a little bit. So I guess I'll do another same ish against Tired Dad. Uh, D Fort's in the simul, good. And uh and I'll play D four against him. Um if people come in late, I you know, like I said, I I, I don't have a problem if Sandro wants to let them in. I'm I don't I'm okay with that. Okay, teacher, we'll get it. We'll see what kind of... Now, Zebai, we've discussed this pet line I, I, I have. Uh, I played C3 against Talakin because the board switched. I would have liked to have gone C4, but uh, all right. So now I'm going to make the best of it and and, and just uh, play. So I, I had a feeling that when I played C3 in that game, but okay. Now, Fork and Pin has gone knight BD7. It's funny. Well, it wasn't funny, actually, for the Americans when... In um, an important world youth game, one of our guys playing the white pieces, who is a good player, like a 2100 player, did not did not play 
Did not know the trick. Knight takes d5, knight takes d5, bishop takes d8, bishop b4 check. And that was a complete disaster to lose a game like that. And the worst thing about that position is that there's just no hope there at all. It's just it's just completely hopeless. Down a piece, and there's hardly anything left. But I know that, so I'm playing e3. Okay, Aaron Trobo is... I'm going to go bishop g5 and see if we get into the bot Vinick. For whatever that's worth, it's a lot of fun. Quam, uh, d4, knight f6, c4. Brownie Baker, another queen's gambit. Teachers, the Benoni. Uh, J. Russell's a, um, a Bogo Indian. And Preparer will be a Rui Lopez of some sort. And Zebai, we're back to my pet queen b3 line in the Grunfeld. I, I like that line. I learned it years ago. Um, me and my friend, G, Norwegian GM, Jonathan Tisdall, who's from Syracuse and lives in Norway now. We were big fans of Oleg Roman, Romanition. And, uh, and he had, so we adopted some of his pet lines. And the Grunfeld with Queen B3 was one of them. Okay, Lidos is allowing me to get into a, uh accelerated Dragon Roxy bind, which is always a problem. The accelerated dragon would not be a bad opening except for that. You know, it's it's uh, it's all right, Aaron Trobo did not go for the Cambridge Springs or the um uh, Bob Vinick. he just went bishop e seven and now I just play e three. It's a huge difference having that position with the bishop on on g five instead of c one. Okay, Buckeye has gone knight to c6. And now you, the usual moves there was c6 and bishop to g4. So not really sure what, what uh, um, in, in, in that kind of perk, what to, what to play there. Um, it feels like d5 probably is the right move. Uh, and then, and then where, where would his knight go? Um, Against the C6 line, I studied some good Walter Brown games, and I, I always liked I always liked playing against C6 a lot. Um, so I could transpose maybe Bishop E3, but it feel but it feels like it feels like D5 is the right move. So I'm I'm going to play D5 there. Doctor Strange move is captured on C4. I take back with the Queen. zebla has got Knight B6. We've done this before. There was one game where he really tricked me and won pretty quickly. He won a piece in one of the games. Quam, Benoni, or Benko Gambit. With those, uh, that's the um, Maroxy Bind. And Chess 24, we're in a kind of a Nimzovich position. Uh, let's see. I guess I'll go. Um, I, I know in these Nimzovich positions, what Black is trying to do is to get into a, um, a French defense with the bishop outside the chain. So what I'm saying is the bishop, is a French defense with a bishop is not stuck on c8. So white should be very careful to allow, not to allow that. If white just played a move like bishop e2, black would go e6 and d5. And if white replied e5, knight d7, I think black would be better there. So white has to play this stuff a little crazy. So I'm going to go queen e2. Sometimes some castles queenside ideas. Okay, Buckeye has, has after d5, gone knight back to b8. And now, normal development for me, I don't know, there's, there's, there's some moves here. I mean, I would think that I would think that his idea would be to go C6. So if he's doing C6, maybe something like Rookie 1 makes sense. So that if the, uh, if, if the E-file opens up, that could be okay. So I think I'm just going to go Rookie 1 there, and that looks like a sensible developing move. Uh, Zena, we're in a Queen's Indian. I'll do my favorite Petrosian variation. Jay Russell has exchanged on D2 very fast. I always thought the Queen uh, E7 lines were the best. And then G3, and ex you know, and then exchange at the proper moment. And then White must take back on, on in that position, White must take back with a Knight on D2. And those those positions, when White's Knight is on C3, uh oh, Preparer is going for a, a Schleeman, Quam, we're in a Benoni, and Tricky Maid has gone 94 against me in the um, in the Budapest Gambit. Um, 
I'm pretty sure from from remembering stuff, I, I was never really afraid of the Budapest Gambit, to tell you the truth. I, I, I mean, it's just... I don't know. It, it, it's tactical, and and I think that playing ninety four is probably um, a better thing to do than than to go for those other lines with knight g four, and then black can play bishop uh, white can play bishop f four knight f three and just get the bishop pair for nothing. So I remember something about I remember something about a three being a good move, and then some stuff with queen to c two. So I think that I'll, I'll I'll just go a three and see how and, and and see how that goes there. So let me just play a three. Tired Dad has gone for the Pano variation in the um in the same against the Samish. Aaron Trobo's taken on c four. I don't like that. He's lost control of the center. In a little while, maybe I'll get some e four idea going. Buckeye has replied with e five. Now and that's and that's in that perk defense. So so Buckeye has replied with, with the E5, and now it, it starts to look like a King's Indian defense almost with my pawn on on C2, which might not be a great thing because it's not really contributing, but it does make for less holes. So, so that would be after uh, rookie one and E5. Now... Um, there's, there's, there's moves like on passant here. Um, I feel like with my rook on e1, that that I probably should take on passant. I, 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 another possible idea would be to transfer the knight from d2 to c4. But then if I do that, one of the things that bothers me is my rook is on e1, and sometimes in those lines you go f4. So I think that. I have to. I think I have to take on e6 here. Okay, let's see. Zena, we're in. We're in the. Um, okay, knight uh, f6 from Tahoe Sam in that exchange French. I, I know knight takes knight is good. Haveniola has gone e6. That's in that exchange. Uh, 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 that's in the Slav. And I played queen b3 against him. I, I I don't know. I started messing around with queen b3. One of my students we discussed it that maybe it was a better move. Then queen c2, because on queen c2, the thing with queen c2 is that the g6 lines were annoying. b6 from tricky mate in, in, in that, um, in, in the, uh, Budapest gambit. So now I, I remember something here. You know, I studied, I studied this once and I remember like a really weird game. And I think I found it by accident. I, I remember some game where Sammy Rashevsky was white against Arthur Bisgeyer. And it was in like a U.S. championship. I, I don't know. 1946 kind of comes to mind a little bit. And um, But I think in that game, I remember something about a bishop coming out to F5. So I think in this position, it just seems like how can I go wrong with some kind of sensible development with knight f3? So that seems okay. Fork and pin has gone b6. And I'm going to play, let's see. Now, b6 sometimes in the exchange variation is not so good, but I don't really see any way to take advantage of it at this point. So I'm going to put my knight on e2 and see how that one goes. Okay, Aaron Trouble is good. b5, attacking my bishop in that... In, in the Slav, I'm going to go bishop back to d3 because I think that I want to maybe take over the center in a little while. Uh, let's see. So we're back to we're we're back to the perk with Buckeye. Buckeye just played. Uh, bishop takes e6. Obviously, the correct move. Uh, pawn takes wouldn't have been so good there. And now I think probably some kind of developing move for me. Um, I, I don't know whether it's like a, some sort of bishop to maybe a bishop move or do I go after, maybe, maybe I go after his bishop with knight to d4 or something, gain it. I don't know if he can let me have that bishop. So if I make the bishop move, I'm gaining a little time, gaining a little space. I think knight d4 seems correct, so I'll do that. J. Russell with the d5, and now the, the big question in, in those positions is... Um, 
do I leave the pawn there or or do I just protect? I'm, I think I'm going to play safe and just play queen c2. I think I want my knight on d2 anyway. Brownie Baker, we're getting involved in a um, in in a uh, Albin counter gambit. Tahoe Sam has recaptured on with f6, and I'm going to go c3. I remember that from an Alexander Ivanov game uh, against Atanka in a U.S. Championship that I was playing in. Tahoe, a uh, uh, tired dad has gone a6, and I think I'm going to go. I think I'm going to play h h4 and. Just like the old days there, I remember a lot of John Nunn games. John Nunn was black against Lalios Portish. Very interesting battles whenever those guys played. Uh, Bishop to B7 from Tricky Mate. In, and, and, that's, and that's in the, um, that's, that's in the uh, Budapest Gambit. So let's see, let's see what to do now. Um, it feels, you know, th th these positions are so tactical that it's always good for it, it, black would be advised really to to just be very solid about that, and that's what I'm trying to do, especially in a simul where where the guy is trying to mate me, and you never know what sort of tricks and traps could happen here. So it seems like. I don't know what the, uh, what the best move is here, but uh, knight bd2 looks nice. Maybe to get rid of that knight before any weird tactics happen. So I'm going for knight bd2. Dr. Strange move, c5. Should I take that? I think I'm going to take. It feels like we've had this kind of game. Uh, DOH, normal kind of Catalan type Slav variation. And Zebile has gone now bishop to c4. We, he, we did this once before. And he got a very good game. I, I think he snatched my e2 pawn somehow, and um, and so I got I got to be a, a a bit careful about how this one goes. Um, I I think in that game I fian shadowed, and and then when he went bishop to c4, I well, some sort of tricky business occurred that that I wasn't all happy with. So I, I want to see, so after bishop g5, bishop e6, bishop to c4, uh, um, interesting move. And his idea is that it is not so easy for me to develop. Um, if I go e4, he'll break my castles, or e3. So I remember, I, I, I don't know, I mean, I was almost thinking of maybe to see if, if, there, if there's any interesting castles in this kind of position, or I, I don't know. Um, I think I got into trouble in that game because I went G3, and he when he went Bishop H4, it became a, a real situation. So on Bishop to C4, I have to look. Uh, I mean, it, something like B3, it just doesn't feel right. Um Maybe rook, maybe maybe rook to d1, and then I have to see. But how how to develop in the game? I got into trouble with. I seem to remember something about my bishop being stuck on h4, and something bad happening to me on e2. Uh, I'm thinking of just going. I'm thinking I should just go rook to d1, and and if I fear in shadow, uh, I might have to drop my bishop back to somewhere other than h4. So I think Rook D1 looks like a decent move there, but I mean it's still it's it's still not so easy uh, to, to 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 figure out what is what's going on there. Okay, so I just went Knight D4 against Buckeye, and Buckeye went Bishop to D7, and and now what what's a, what's a good thing to do here? Probably uh, probably just continue to develop. It seems to me that it's a it's it's a pretty solid position. For uh for Buckeye out of this, so Bishop to G5 feels like the right move. If he chases my Bishop around, it's going to be okay. Talikin, where I played C3 by accident, now my, I'm going to try to develop differently there because it's a different sort of game. Uh, Doctor Strange move is is coming up with some interesting tactics um, in this game. He's doing uh he, he I have to be careful. Of a bishop takes c5, bishop takes f2 thing, winning my queen. And that's in this uh, queen c2 slav where he took, and I took on c4. 
I mean, I, I really don't know if I believe this to tell you the truth. Um, but I, I have to be careful where where I put where I put the pieces. So E six and then uh let's see, uh and and then takes on takes on C five and it's a little weird to move the C pawn twice so early in the game. But that's that's uh, uh that's what he did. So now I'm gonna see what what's the deal here. Can I can I take advantage of this somehow? So so C five. I played pawn takes C five. Must be correct. And now on Queen C seven, uh, um, a point that he has is that if if I play pawn to B four, he'll go A five and break me up. So I have to see what to do here. I'm I'm thinking. I'm thinking of, of how to come out fast with my pieces if I have to give the pawn back. I, I don't know about bishop to e3. It, it blocks my development. I'm sort of thinking about knight to c3 and then to c. Um, can, can I use the d6 square or the c7 square? I'm going to play knight to c3 and give him the pawn back. Okay, uh, now what's happening against Zebile? Um if I go, I'm, I'm looking at stuff like knight to e5, b3. I don't want to loosen myself up here. And I still don't know about going e3 and bishop takes f1, king takes f1. That helps him. So I still feel like, I still feel like I should be going g3 and developing like that. So I'm going to take a shot with that and see how that goes. Okay, have an Eola with, uh, with a6. And I guess I just go bishop to g2, uh, d4, c4, and Donnie Darko has done a Benoni, but with his bishop on e7, which has got to be favorable for white. Dr. Strange move has recaptured on c5 with his queen, and now, let's see, if I'm going to go for any advantage, I'm thinking about something like queen takes, bishop takes, and knight to b5 maybe. See how that goes. And Zebal has gone knight c6. And now the big thing here for Zebal is when is he threatening is he threatening to take my my d4 pawn? That's a good question. Um, can I just go bishop to g2? And and just develop and, and see. I remember he was always trying some plans like knight b4 to d5. I think that's how I hung my e pawn in that game. Okay, with those we're in we're in a Maroxy bind. Nothing much doing. D Fort also also uh, another uh Budapest gambit. Fork and pen has gone bishop to b seven. Now is there any way for me to take advantage of any of this stuff like going for a fast center? This is in the exchange variation of the Queen's Gambit. Uh let's see. Uh if I go knight to g three and he plays something like h6. I don't know. I think I, I think probably I just castle there. No way to take advantage. Aaron Trobo is is looks like he's trying to get b4 and c5 in. Uh, if he gets that in, he freezes position. So I'm going to try to stop that with some rook c1 thing. See if I could cut across his idea. Now, Doctor Strange move. I was thinking about knight b5 here. How does what does he do about the c7 and d6 squares? Um, he can go. I guess he can play knight to a6, and then I gotta see how do I develop there. So I think I think I'm gonna try knight to b5, and and see how that one works out. Okay, Zayna, we're back in the pet line. Have an Eola. Uh, D4 has played knight g4 in the uh, in the uh, Budapest Gambit. E5 from tired dad. I just replied d5 there. Uh, knight b d7. Donnie Darko. That's the Benoni where the bishop is is out on e7. And now chess 24. That's the game where we're involved in a um, a Nimzevich with the pawn on c6. Uh, now. Like I said, Black's idea there is to get into a French defense with the bishop on h5. 
And my point is I have to run across his plan there. So after E6, um, I, you know, I, I think I had a game. I think I had a game once where I did Bishop G5 against a Kobe. And, and I thought I was getting a really good game. And then the Kobe got some counterplay. I think that G4 has got, is, is another move. I think I'm going to go G4. It might be actually G4 and then Bishop G5. It may transpose. Okay, let's see, fork and pin. I'm going to just go F3 and try and build a center at some point. Talikin is playing the blockade, uh, the um, uh, blockade sort of stone wall in, in, the, um, in the Dutch. And let's see how Havaniola is doing. Okay, now, Zebile has gone knight to B4 like we expected. And now, I guess... I'm thinking about going queen to d2 here. Something different. Um, except on queen to d2, can he snatch a2? This is a, oh, that's a situation. So I have to go queen to b1. J. Russell, I just can't cancel. That's a solid position for white, slightly better. Uh, chest 24 is dropped back. Bishop to g6, of course. Uh, and now, after bishop to g6... I have to play some, you know, pretty energetically here. I think I'm going to try h4. Zaina, we're still in the theory of the Petrosian variation. Bishop e7 from Tahoe Sam in a uh, an exchange variation of the French. Um, you know, that's that's sort of interesting. Uh, I, I, I thought maybe that was going to be too passive for him. Uh, I, I thought in those positions... Usually what happened was is that Black tried to hit fast with C5. And I remember the Alexander Ivanov game. What happened in the Alexander Ivanov game was C5. Alexander played a, a nice move, 95, and I, I was sitting next to that game. And now, I don't know. In this position, it feels like something like... I, I don't know. Bishop to D3 looks like looks like a sensible move. Bishop to G5 looks like it's a decent move. Um, I guess I'll go for. I guess I'll go for. Well, not not really sure. This this, this it's it's you know it's a slow position. So I I think I think I'm going to try Bishop to G5. Actually, maybe some ideas of castling on the queen side. Okay, tired dad has gone 97. And I guess I'll try to take space with g4 on him. Maybe that can lead to an attack or it could lead to a locked position on the king's side. Where maybe um, I'm happy about that because I get all the play on the queen's side. Okay, Lithos has gone knight h6. And I remember this is a tricky line here with with f5. So I think, I, I think bishop e2 is correct for me. I think I believe bishop e2 is correct. And, and that's what I'm going to do. Fianchetto against Zaina. Um, having Eola, he's trying to get the C5 in. I think I throw my bishop out to G5 in that position. G5 from D4, that's in the Budapest. That line's gotten popular. And now Air Trambo, what's my deal here? Do I want to, when is he going to go C5, I'm wondering. And when should I go E4? So I think I'm going to cancel first. I'm keeping an eye on that situation because I cannot let him get C5 in in good shape there, because then then he'll 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 just be better. Uh, rookie A from Buckeye, and now let's see what should I do here. Thinking thinking about Queen to D2, and keeping that pin. Something like Bishop to F3 looks sensible for me. I don't know if he could then chase my bishop around, something like h6 and g5. Not really sure about that. Um, bishop to f1 would probably just be a sensible sort of move here. Uh, and then if he goes knight c6 exchange, and then go queen to d2. But then I wonder if he can sack his h-pawn to take my e-pawn. That's a pretty interesting situation. And so I, I, I'm not sure exactly what my I have some space here. That's that's the question. Uh, so let's see. I'm 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 feeling like Bishop F3 is the right move. 
I'm feeling like Bishop F3 is right, so I'm, I'm going to do that. It could get sharp, though, depending on what his reply is. Okay, knight d5 from Zebal. We've seen this idea before, and it's a nice idea if I... But now, okay, if I capture... Now, uh, um, this is the kind of thing that happened in the other game. He um, he had he had some some idea, uh, so I'm wondering if I can just go knight takes d5 here. I'm gonna try that. Different sort of move. I still can't cancel because of e2 hang. Okay, Talonkin has canceled, and I'll just develop. Still wondering. I'm gonna lose a tempo with c4 in that game at some point. Dorney, Darkhouse, Benoni, White is still slightly better. Doctor Strange move. I'm wondering. Okay, uh, knight b5. I got him to go knight a6. And now I guess I'm going to try to develop with g3. I want to keep an eye on. I, I don't know if if he's ever threatening knight b4 kind of stuff. And so I think I'm going to go bishop to f4 and try and get my bishop out of the way. And then and then develop. And see and see how that goes. Okay, so what's happening here? Uh, um, I have to be careful. I don't get into time pressure on some of these boards. People are moving pretty fast. Uh, Haveniola is trying to get the C5 in, and he might be starting to do that. Um, I'm wondering how to stop it. I'm, I'm, I'm even thinking about Knight to E5. Knight to e5. I think I'm going to give it a try. It looks a little looks a little weird, but uh, maybe it's okay. Okay, Donnie Darko. I'll just castle. I'm solid in that game. Jay Russell has broken with e5, and now let's see. What is my best way for an advantage here? Um, I think I'll take on e5 first. D4 uh, Budapest. I'm just going to develop. That's with the knight. G, that's with that G5 line. And fork and pin has gone rookie eight, and I drop back bishop f2 over protection. F6. Did Lithos do a mouse slip? Because f5 is was almost certainly the right move. So I feel that Lithos did a mouse slip. But what can we do? Um, I, I guess if he asked for a take back, I would do it. I'm not sure what the you know our deal with the take backs is. Okay, queen d2 from uh, c6 from tired dad, and I'm just going to go h5 and continue with the king's side stuff. Okay, b6 from Talcan. And now, I don't know. I mean, I feel like I feel like I should be going c4 at some moment against him. What about knight to c4? Kind of a strange-looking move. Uh, maybe take advantage if there's no pawn on c4. All right, I'm going to try knight to c4. Mouse slips happen. I mean, I, I one of my worst mouse slips was, was when I had mate one time, and um, and teacher's going for a sharp position here with uh, with with the b5 pawn sack in the Benoni and h6 from chess 24. Okay, so let's 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 see let's see what the deal is with in, in that in that position. Chess 24 has has just gone. H6, and that's that's in the um, in that Nimzovich uh, position. And now, what could be be the idea here? Uh, probably, uh, probably I continue with H5. Having Eola has gone rook to C8. Good move. And now, how do I stop this C5 idea from happening? It's a good question. Um, well, his well, he's not going c5 just yet because of his bishop hanging. So I, I'm going to get out of town fast with castles, just in case there was some bishop check. Knight g4 from Lithos. Okay, so I I, I have to take on g4. And now after chess 24 has gone bishop to h7, I feel like. Um, um, is H is just G five the right move? Getting on with it. Maybe his bishop's going to wind up on G eight. I don't know. Fork and pin. Uh, G six. Not sure why though. Why did fork and pin play G six? 
my night is not is not anywhere near um, F five, but it it doesn't seem like a bad move. I mean, it's it's he's doing fine there. Probably your white's a little better and normally normal stuff just a bit better. Ninety four from from D L H. Now let's see. Uh, what's the, what is the right move here for me? Uh, something like E three, I think. Just to just to protect my pawn, and my idea is to try and get rid of his knight on e4 and get control of the center later. All right, some the Budapest are just rolling along, and Havaniola is is working hard, is working very hard to get this uh, c5 in. Now, how um, and and is there any way for me to? to stop it really and if I can't stop it I'm gonna have to go for some safety first thing so let's say I if I take on all right I'm gonna I'm gonna take on d7 see how that one goes all right knight c5 I'm Donnie and I guess on Donnie I'm gonna try bishop to f4 rook c8 from fork and pen uh-huh Normal looking game there. I mean, equal or white is slightly better. Uh, A5 from Tricky Mate, and that's in the other Budapest Gambit. So, uh, I mean, a, a lot of openings today that, that are, are, are putting the pressure on me. And um, so we're gonna, I'm going to see what the story is with, with, uh, with, with these openings. And just a uh, uh, very tough play there. So... Bishop to b7, and then I went knight to d2, and then he went a5. And now, at least I get rid of his knight. I'm wondering, do I have to pay attention to his pawn structure at all? So I think I think knight takes e. I think knight takes e4 looks good. Bishop f5 from j Russell. Uh, and now, let's see. Do I want to play? Where do I want to? Um, he's threatening my. My pawn on e2. If I move my uh, queen to somewhere, I'm still thinking that queen b3 could be a good move. So I'm going to go queen to b3. Brownie Baker, we're in the early stages of of the um, Albin counter gambit. Having has recaptured with his knight on d7. And now let's see what should I do here. Pawn. I, I'm 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 trying to see. All right, I'm going to go e4 and try to be very aggressive here and see, you know, and see if I can take the steam out of this this break. Uh oh, the, yep. The um, I forgot all about the Schliemann. The Schliemann is 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 tough, and also we got to see what are these what are these variations in the Schliemann. Um, it's 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 a heck of a lot of stuff to remember. And so we'll, we'll 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 see what happens with that. So much stuff. Uh, let's see now what to do here. Looks like I don't know. Uh, uh, get ready some bishop h three stuff. Maybe try and pry it open with d five in a while. Bishop takes e four from tricky mate. Um, so that's that that looks that that's um in that um, Budapest. So knight takes e4, bishop takes e4, and I feel like, I don't know, I'm looking at ideas like bishop to g5, to, to, to put that in there first. Uh, let's see. Um, what other things there? Put in bishop to g5 or put in bishop f4 to maybe keep the pawn. Um Normal development could be nice. I, I I don't know. It feels like it feels like something like Bishop F four or G three or G three maybe. Um, I think the idea if I go G three, I think I'll play G three. I I want to keep my Bishop on C one open, and I feel like if I go Bishop F four, I'm worried about some tactics. So I'm going to go G three. A six from fork and pin. Now. Is he getting ready for some queenside stuff is what I'm wondering about here. So I think I'm going to put my bishop on b1 just in case. I have to be ready for some action. Okay, bishop d7 from Donnie Darko. So 
Can I hit him with E5? I'm going to hit him with E5 and see, see what happens there. Feels like the right time. Okay, Litos, um, I feel like, all right, typical, typical sort of Maroxy buying position. I'll put the rooks in the middle and just defend. C5 from DLH. Now, let's see what, what, what was happening here. Can I go knight? Is knight to h4 some kind of move for me now? Let me try. I'm going to try knight to h4. See how that one works. J. Russell has snatched an e2 pawn, and I'm going to go knight to d4. And then his move might be forced there, so he's got to be a little careful how he does that. Haveniola has gone bishop to d6. And let me see, what, what kind of move should I play here? I think I'm going to go a3, and just to see if I could get pawn to b4. And okay, Zena has gone c5, and now usually what, what sort of ideas do I play here? Um, rook to c1, queen to a4, queen to b3 to get a rook to d1. Um, I think I'm going to try queen to a4 and try and get a rook to d1, put some pressure on the d5 pawn and on that diagonal. Uh, queen c8 from Buckeye. What, uh, um, what is his idea? What is his idea now with that move? Um, should I just go queen to d2? Or is there some sort of threat behind this that, that I'm not seeing? Maybe, maybe, I don't know, I was thinking of going... I think I'm going to go h3, and, and I'm not sure what I'm stopping, but h3 looks like a decent move for me. Maybe stop, you know, we'll see what I'm stopping there. Okay, Tricky Maid has gone after g3, knight c6, threatening to get his pawn back. Uh, pretty, pretty obvious move. And then we got to see how this is working here. I mean, I'm feeling like I, I'm feeling like I can give stuff up for for development. Donnie Darko, I'll, I'll take back with the bishop on e5, and prepare. We're this is we're we're in the Schleeman. Okay, let's now we're in it, and we got to see what happens. Okay, trying to catch play some catch up here. J. Russell, um, what's happening here? Um, B7 is hanging. Can I snatch that pawn? And then sometimes C6 is hanging for him. Uh, I think that looks pretty decent for me. H6 from Haveniola. And now I will. Sh I just move my bishop back to where? Um, it's a good question. Uh, E3 or D2? And and then I have to see if he goes C five. Am I am I ready to am I ready to meet that with something? Is a good question. So let let me see. Uh, where should my bishop go back to? Bishop to D two. All right, I'm going to put it back on D two, and then we'll see what happens there. Okay, Tahoe Sam has has castled, and that's that's in that that's in that uh, exchange French. And so, so that was a that was a bishop g five, and he just castled. And how does it look for me? It feels like it feels like bishop to d three should be right. Point at the king's side and see what's going on. Uh, yep, I think I had a game once with something like this against Viganian, similar. Okay, Talakin has given me. I guess I should just take his bishop on d6 with my knight, and perhaps later on I could hassle his uh, his pawns. I'm not happy about one thing, though. So we'll see what happens. e5 from Haveniola, and now I was banking on the move d5 to save me. And, you know, and I have to see. I, I, now, now I'm not so sure about it. Uh, but I, I, I'm into it, so I better just go d5 there. King e7 from Dr. Strange move. And I'm just going to play a3 just in case to stop some stuff. Talokin, uh let's see. Now, how do I bother him here with these pawns? Feels like queen, queen to b3. I could go pawn to c4, but I'm not too happy about that. Queen, 
I guess let me try queen to b3. Maybe you know get some try and get some pressure on d6. Okay, J uh, J Russell two has gone queen c8, and I guess I'll just go queen takes c6. C4 from DLH, okay, and that means that that means that is he getting um, is well wh where is he chasing my queen to? Um, if I go queen to C2, uh, and he ah uh, he, he may have discoveries. Knight takes G3. That could get a little weird though. And if I go queen back. Will he get bishop takes h4 and I get b7? All right, I'm going to try queen back to d1. I think I got to got to do that. Okay, queen c at knight c6 from Buckeye, and I think that I have I should take on c6 because he's bothering me with knight e5. Okay, Darnie Darkhouse. Um, I think I'll go. I, I have the opportunity to mess up his king side, and it feels like I should do it with bishop takes f6. Queen takes d5 from Zebile, and now b3, if I, I, I probably should go b3, I have, I mean, I don't know, I'm, I'm a little worried about how I'm going to cancel here, so I'm going to go b3, and protect my a2 pawn, okay, having he always castled, and I go knight to c3, Zayna has taken on on d4, and if I take back with the knight, he gets there. So I, I, I think I must take back with the pawn on d4. Okay, Aaron Trobo, similar game to Haveniola. If he breaks, if he if he breaks with with c5, he has a good game, and that's what I'm trying to keep him from doing. So how do I how do I continue here? I'm I'm looking at bishop takes f6 ideas or Queen e2 or something. Or I'm going to try bishop takes f6. Okay, Quam has gone knight d7, and I guess I'll throw my bishop out to f4. That looks normal. Zebile has... Okay, now, what what am I doing against Zebile here? Um, I'm, I'm still working on castles, uh, but I can't because of my e pawn. And if I go e4, then I can't castle through his bishop, obviously. So I need to protect my e2 pawn. Can I go queen c2 and be okay? I'm I'm just gonna go queen c2 and uh, and try and get myself castled. Queen d4 from Darny Darko uh, uh, looks looks right. I'm trying to get my queen over to the king's side. Bishop takes c5 from fork and pin, and I'll just go knight to d4. Okay, now preparer has gone pawn takes e4. And 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 this is this is this is this is in this um and I, I obviously go knight takes e6, that's the Schleeman. I'm gonna have to see, do I remember all that stuff? That's always the big question. All right, what is going on with um with chess twenty four here? Queen to e seven, an odd looking move. Um I guess I'm gonna See, I'm, I'm looking at stuff like bishop f4 or bishop e3, maybe just develop. All right, I'm going to go bishop e3 and try to develop. Knight e5 from Quam, I guess uh, that's in the Benoni. I'll take that. Bishop takes h4 from doh, I got to take that. And Havaniola is is trying to get some pressure on my uh, my d5 pawn, so I might have to sack that. I'm not really sure what I'm going to get if I do it. And let's see what, what to do against Buckeye. Buckeye, I feel like I'm okay here. I feel like maybe, um, I don't know, slight edge maybe or equal, not so bad. Uh, but what's my plan? I think I'm going to go queen to d2. b6 from Tahoe Sam. Typical development. And let's see, so let's see, uh, um, after b6 from Tahoe Sam, uh, I feel like queen c2, is that gaining a tempo or maybe queen e2? Uh, 
one or the other there getting ready for councils queen side very sharp i think i'm going to go queen e2 just because it keeps options open uh i might be able to castle king side if i have to keep it safe okay rookie two from j russell but what if i go knight to d4 again i'm going to go knight to d4 again and and just continue to bother him Okay, Tricky Mate has, has taken on uh, F, F3 and gone back. And now, one thing about one thing about Tricky Mate's position is is that am I getting canceled? You know, am, am I getting canceled very fast in that game? You know, this is this is this is this is a big question. You know, I mean, I got I got that Queen D4 deal in. He won his pawn back. And then after takes on, on F3 and he goes bishop C6. I mean, Castles looks, am I getting rookie eight and, and uh, rookie one in because G7 is hanging? What does he do there? So I'm, I, I think I just castle. Uh, Aaron Trobo has gone, uh, knight takes F6. And I think that I'm going to go knight to E4. Everything is designed to stop, to stop, uh, um, uh, C5 from happening. Teacher has gone knight takes E4, and I go bishop takes E4. That's in the Benoni with the pawn sack. That, it's, it's an interesting thing. Nick DeFermian told me once that he thought that bishop takes B5 was just a forced line. And, and Nick was a very good Benoni player for a long time. I don't know if he still plays it. I mean, you know, he, I, I think we've sort of like gotten into old Geezerville and we're playing things like, you know, we're playing things like the Nimzo Indian and just trying to play some sensible chess instead of some of the stuff that that we found ourselves in. So, so this is the big this is the big question. Okay, so Tahoe Sam. Uh, let's see what the deal is with Tahoe Sam. He just went bishop to b seven, and that's that's in the exchange French, and interesting business there. What to play? Uh, queen e2, bishop to b7. Uh, obviously, castle's queen side is by far and away the, the sharpest move. Just castle and king's side, I don't know. I mean, in a simul, I'm thinking that I, I, in a simul, I think I'm going to take it easy and just castle king's side. Okay, queen a5 from tired dad, and I'm just going to go knight to g3 and see if I can mass for a kingside attack. That looks pretty good for me. And now, J. Russell, what happens if I go f4? Can I win a piece? So I'm thinking, J. Russell, that might be my first, uh, uh, my first point here. f4, attacking his rook looks nice. Rookie eight from Havaniola looks like a good move, and I'm going to go. I'm moving my bishop a lot in this game. I'm not really sure. You know, it's a tough position. Zayna has gone knight c7. Looks like a um, definitely a sensible move. Uh, regrouping the knight to guard, and I guess I'll just go rook to e1, see if I can get a knight to e5 or something. Bishop to d7 from Doctor Strange move. And and uh, let's see. And now it just changed. It castled back to my game with Tahoe Sam. Simo's been going for about an hour. Uh, nothing. Maybe one board. I'm maybe one board. I'm doing great on. I don't know. We'll see. No loss positions. I think. But too many games with the potential to get out of control. That's that's my only concern. You got the Schleiman. The Schleiman has the Schleiman could get out of control. Um, there's 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 a few other ones. I think in the Tahoe Sam game, I was sensible, but and and decided that castle would be the right thing. If I castle queen's side, that would have gotten into some mess. So, I'm I'm trying to maintain some sort of simul, uh, controlling here anyway. <laughs> if that's uh, if that's some sort of English. So Tahoe Sam's thinking, and uh, and maybe I don't know if everybody's thinking here, but um, we're on the board. Uh, I, I I hope everybody's having a good time. I'm uh, 
I'm trying in, in tournaments. I never get into time pressure, but in the simul, especially these simuls, are supposed to be fun, supposed to be some sort of learning experience. Maybe you know, I try to uh, you know just just try to see you know very good, very good for um, for opening theory kind of stuff. Um, you know, just uh, um, good opening practice for people. To see like what what's you know what's the story there and you know and that seems that seems pretty reasonable. So now um, against Tahoe Sam, I feel like I'm just trying to be solid here. So Rook F E one. Doctor Strange move. Yeah, we were on that game and then it went then it left. Uh, can I just go E three and develop myself? I don't fear. I don't think I need to fear any weird tactics here. Looks pretty safe, so I think E3 looks looks right. Um, yeah, E3 just defending my bishop, my knight on B5 seems correct. Uh, DLH, should I snatch my pawn back on B7? I feel like I should. I can also go queen to F3 and maybe snatch my pawn back later, but I I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna snatch my pawn back on B7. Okay. Bishop to e5 from from uh, from Don, Donnie Darko. Now let's let me see if I could uh, calculate something here. If I go queen h5, queen h4, it's pretty clear. It's pretty clear that uh, he has to take back. Well, he has to go f5. Knight takes e5, pawn takes e5. Might be the right thing for me to do. Also, I, I I'm not. You know, I, I really don't see any reason why I can't just maybe go queen takes c3. Uh, four, sorry, queen takes c4. I think that, does he have discovered attacks that force anything? Um, I don't think so. So I, I think I'm just going to go queen takes c4, take the pawn and create some pin situations, and then maybe see if I can mate him afterwards or something. Okay, uh, rook c8 from Aaron Trobo. And now, let me see, do I want to take on F6? If I take on F6, does he have to take with a pawn? I'm thinking I like, I'm, I'm thinking about knight to C5 also, or queen to C2. I think queen to C2 looks good, keeping an eye on that H7 pawn. Knight D7 from Buckeye, uh-huh. And now, if his knight comes to e5, I get put my bishop back on e2. It feels like I should do rook a to d1. Have an eola, rook e7. And I, I, I mean, I, I just feel like I'm worse in this game. Just trying, you know, just trying to play some moves. I feel like I'm permanently stuck to uh, uh to the d pawn. So I'm going to try to see if I could go 94 and relieve some of the pressure there. Okay, queen e6 from Zebile. Still very, very tough, keeping me in the middle. And if I castle, I don't know. If I castle and he goes bishop takes, maybe I have some rook to e8 thing. But if he goes queen takes, what is my story? That's a question. All right, I think that I think that I've had enough here. I, I'm afraid that I have to castle. Queen G5 from Preparer, and that's in the Schleiman. And that's the Schleiman is is just one of those openings that you got to remember. And I, I I mean I haven't played against it lately, but I, I I think I know enough. I've taught it to a lot of my students. And I think I know enough about it. After pawn, you know, after pawn takes, knight takes, d5. Knight takes, e5, pawn, e4. Queen, e2, queen, g5 is right. Knight takes, c6, then knight, f6 is forced. Queen takes, g2 would get mated all with checks because of queen, h5 check. So now, now the most normal move here is always f4 or knight, e5. I think they come to be the same thing, really. So f4 first is what I'm going to do. Rookie eight from teacher in that Benoni, and that's another that's another game. You know my usual simul, my best simul was two losses, 
But today, uh, today I'm I'm really in 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 uh, in some real situations here. So you know, trying uh, uh, in 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 tactical positions, very tactical positions, messy. I think not, I remember something about night chief five. I'm just going to do it. Jay Russell uh, is going down a piece. Aha. Uh-huh. And DLH has played a nice move. Bishop to E4. Trading those bishops. And now I'm going to, I I, I, um, I don't want to get mated, so I have to trade the bishops. Bishop E2 from Buckeye, I have to play, forced. Queen E7 from Tricky Mate. And now Tricky Mate is trying to castle on the queen side. Man, I'm telling you, I got a lot of games out of control here. This is this is a very uh, uh, w- the messiest time I've ever played. I'm telling you something. Maybe next, maybe maybe next month, I might have to play like D4 in every game. But you could tell even the D4 games get out of control a little bit. Okay, now do I have any tactics here? All right, I, I maybe Bishop H6 is a good move. Okay. Uh, D4, G4, that's in this. I'm getting in a time pressure in some of these games, so I'm going to try to start to move a little faster. DLH with uh, with, with um, Queen E4, and I feel like I have to do F3 there. There's some of the games I'm just hanging on for deal life. Okay, with those, slight edge for white. That's the kind of game that I need more of. Definitely, definitely the kind of game I need more of because uh, it's just... Too many games out of control here. Okay, now let's see. Again, Zebulon, Queen takes E2. Um, I'm wondering about. Well, I, I, I can't trade on E2 because my rooks get forked. So let's see. If I go rook to D2, where does his queen go? Trading queens is out. Queen c7, knight d5 worries me a little bit. Um, and then queen a5. Interesting business here. I think I'm going to go for rook to d2. And and we'll see where his queen goes. Hmm, interesting stuff here. But then queen to b5. All right, I'm going to go, I'm going to go rook to d2. I don't think I've hung anything yet, but it's definitely getting messy. Okay, d5 from chess 24 after queen e7, bishop e3. Now, do I want to, can I take stuff on, does taking on d5 ever do anything? And if I go e5, then his bishop is opened up, and he might get c5 stuff. So I think I have to take on d5 against chess 24. Doubled rooks from having the ola, that looks like a good move. One thing is, at least my d pawn is protected, so so that looks okay. Okay, queen c8 from Donnie. And now, let me see if I can calculate some kind of win here. Uh, let's see. Well, one, th- one thing is, is that he has bishop f5 as a reply. So, so that's, that could be a reply for him. So I think I'm going to take, I think taking on e5 seems like the right thing to do. Okay, queen h4 from doh. I'm going to go uh, e4 there. Uh, I'm a little worried in some of these games. I got to tell you, completely lost control on a lot of boards. Really, really lost, really lost incredible control on these boards. Okay, trying to get, trying to make up for some time here. Try not to blunder while I'm trying to make up time. Okay, so now Queen D6, good move from Zayna. And now I got to see what's, what is, what is my idea here now? Um, knight to B5, he's got Queen C6 stuff. Trading off, I, I think I'm going to just play something like H4. Take my time, give some air, and see how that one goes. Um, oh, an interesting thought in the Donnie Darko game has just come up. If I go, if I go B four, does he have a way out? Uh, I mean, 
Does Knight takes is Knight takes a four gonna be okay for him? Huh, that's weird. Hmm. So I'm looking at all kinds of stuff here. I'm I'm th I'm still I'm still think that I like Queen H four the best. Queen H four, but then Bishop F five. Pawn to B four, his knight goes where? Knight A four. Okay. Knight takes a4, and then I go where with the queen? All right, I'm going to try pawn to b4 against Donnie and see what happens. Okay, rook to b8 from Buckeye, and I guess I just go... Uh, he's threatening to push pawns. I guess I'll go bishop to f1. I'm always on the lookout for fork tricks with things taking uh, h3. Okay, fork and pin is playing, you know, pretty pretty good game, pretty solid stuff. Um, where's my queen go in this type of position? Um, can I can I go knight to f4 and just unravel myself? Uh, okay, I'm going to try knight to f4. I I'm I'm very happy that I have this knight on d4. It's kind of saving my game. Okay, so have any old uh, Bishop to c8 is a good move. Um, threatening some bishop h3 stuff probably. So I guess I'll go bishop to e3. I don't think I'm afraid of any rook takes e3 sacrifices. Queen takes f4 from preparer. That's it. That's in. That's in the Schleiman. And and that is certainly uh, um, some sort of deal here. Okay, f4. Queen takes f4. I remember knight e5 check. And then c6 and then d4. So knight e5 check. Queen f4, f5 from dlh. Dlh is after me. He wants a rook lift, I think. And I gotta be really careful about the rook lift. I'm thinking that I'm thinking that I might have to go rook e2 myself. But then I don't know. He's taking a queen h4 stuff. And if he goes pawn takes pawn, what's happening? I would like to be able to take back with a pawn, but I don't see I don't see how I'm going to do that. Can I guard squares simply with queen to e2? I think I'm going to try queen to e2, but that position I I am not happy about it. I got to tell you. Okay, I provoked e6 from with those. Went back knight c3. Talikin has gone knight e4, and. Is he ever threatening G5, I'm wondering. So I'm trying to figure out what to do here. I think I'm just going to go rook to D1 and get my rook out of the way. I might have to play bishop to C1 soon. Quam has gone bishop D7. I'm getting into some time pressure all over the place in these games. Let's see. Uh, should I? Can I try rook to C1 against Quam? Try to bother that C pawn. B5 from Tired Dad. I guess I'll just go Queen D2. I'm not going to be too subtle in some of these games. Just try for me. And let's see. So Bishop A3 from Fork and Pin, and I will just trade Rooks. I think I'm okay there. Uh, H6 from, from Zaina, and now I got to see, can I do a Knight Maneuver? What does the knight maneuver do exactly? Uh, I don't know. Knight b5 I can't do. He does pin stuff with queen c6. Uh, can I go rook to c1 or something or rook to d1? Yeah, feel, feels, like, feels, like I, feels like knight e2 should be the right move, but uh, probably an equal position. Okay. Rook lift from dlh. Uh-huh. And, and I'm going to see if I can go bishop to d2 and just hang on for deal life here. Okay, c6 blocks, d4 against preparer, all pretty theoretically, theoretical. Uh, knight f6 from uh, um, Dr. Strange move. Now I'm looking to see, can I go pawn to b4? Is that a crazy move? Does he have any tactics? What's going on here? I'm going to try pawn to b4 against Dr. Strange move, try and maybe, maybe I can provoke him. Fork and pin. 
just to, just developing. He's got the C file, but I, my pawn structure looks solid. Talokin's just going G5. Brownie Baker. Um, um, only eight moves, and I've used up a lot of time. I don't know what I don't know what I'm doing in the simul today. I've definitely lost control. That that's I've said that a million times, and there's no doubt about it. Okay, pawn to B5 from Donnie, but instead of trying to make Donnie, can I just go queen takes C5? And that looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Okay, P sack from Doctor Strange move. All right, well, now, all right, I got to take it and go king d1, and we'll see how that goes. All right, now, uh, Quam, I, I think I'm going to go knight a4 and try to work on his c pawn. Bishop h3 from Haveniola. That, that game, I'm, I'm just worse. And now, what's going on with Zebile? I get my e pawn back, but I'm worried about uh, uh, him having a really strong knight. So, uh, but I feel, I feel like I have, I feel like I must go bishop takes e7. Okay, and now Dr. Strange move, I think I must go. Let me, let me think here, all kinds of weird tactics. I'm looking at knight to d2, but then he has knight to e4. Do I have to go king to d1? I think I must. I'll go king to d1 and, and pray a little bit. Rook g6 from dlh, king h1. H6 from Tahoe Sam, that's in the exchange um, variation of the French. I played that one very safely, but let's see how safely, you know, if I played it safely enough. That is, you know, that's the question. Uh, should I take on F6 and just go bishop to E4, or, or am I just going to try bishop to F4 and see what happens there? All right, let's try bishop F4. Okay, Quam is taken on a4. I've recaptured. I'm trying to work on a c pawn. Donnie, I'm up a piece. Uh, Aaron Trobo, uh, h6 protects his pawn. But now I think I'm very happy to go knight to c5. And I like my game a lot here. Having Eola, I, I think in, in, in some of these games, like having Eola, I think I'm just trying to, I mean, I'm just happy with a draw, I'm telling you. I think I'm just going to go bishop to d2 and offer lots of rook trades. Queen h4 check from preparer. I go g3. He goes queen h3. I go bishop c4. We're in huge theory there. Teacher, more teacher. We're in more huge theory there. This simul has, has gotten more, more theory going than any other simul I've ever had. And, and I have a feeling that, that it's really not the best thing that has happened to me, <laughs> to be completely honest. Okay, I, uh, F5 from teacher, I think castles look sensible. Fork and pin has gone queen c7. He's trying to uh, uh, use the only open file. Makes sense. Uh, let me see. Is I'm trying to determine if bishop to c1 is ever going to bother me. I think I'm going to try bishop to h4 and just try to hassle him a little bit. Okay, Zebile has gone rook to e8, of course, normal. And now I have to see. I guess I go. I guess I go bishop back to g5. He's, he's gonna get. I'm wondering how strong his knight is. You know, he's gonna have a very strong knight on d5. I, I mean, that's what's bothering me. Let's see. So where do I go with my bishop? Bishop g5, knight d5. Not sure. Bishop c5. All right, I'm going to try bishop to c5. Uh, at this point, I'm just trying to guard all my stuff. Okay, Quam has gone knight to d6, and I feel like I should double rooks on the c-file, go after that c-pawn. Knight e4 from Dr. Strange move. Mm -hmm. hitting, hitting, my, um, hitting my f2 pawn looks, looks good. Looks like a normal move. Now, do I have any tricky stuff here? First thing I'm looking at is rook to a4. Don't know what that is. Second thing is to give some is to give some stuff back. I'm a little concerned about my uh, uh, you know what's going on on the c file a little bit. Uh, let's see. So 
if I I'm I'm, I'm looking I'm first thing I'm making sure my king is safe. Um, Bishop now he's threatening Bishop takes b5 also a knight c3. So he's got a couple of things going on here at the same time. Can I go? Can I go king to b3? I'm wondering. Uh, king to c2. I think I'm going to give king c2 a try. It's gotten it's gotten messy, which is really nothing new. Okay, queen h3 from preparer, bishop to c4, trying to make up some time here. Okay, all right, everybody, I'm back, and I'm in time pressure all over. I'm sorry about that. I don't have the faintest idea of what happened there. It was just a total freeze job. All right, so here we go. Now, a lot of games going, uh, um, I'm just trying to, I'm, I'm getting into time pressure all over the place. This is a rough one. Trying, I mean, just trying to make draws in some of these games, or in some cases, just trying not to lose. This is for sure, like against DLH, 14 minutes left, and I'm just trying to be solid. And how do I do that in this game is a good question. Okay, I think I'm going to try rook to f1. I think I need to keep a rook off of f2. Quam is playing very solidly. I'm trying to to uh, uh, see if I could uh, uh, break him down somehow. Um, not not an easy job. I guess I'll just go queen a3 and try to tie him down a little bit. Uh, Donnie is just down a piece, right? So that's 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 one of the... Uh, I, I feel like that one is a pleasure to look at from my point of view. So I have some games that, that I feel pretty good about. Other games are really kind of... Uh, uh, a, a little bit uh, ridiculous to, in, in terms of how completely out of control they are. Yeah. Uh, Bishop C1 from fork and pin. Does that bother me? It is, Bishop is on C1. Uh, where do I put my queen? I guess queen E2 looks nice. I don't know. Bishop C1 shouldn't scare me that much. Quam has gone. Bishop to F8. And now I, I'm, I'm all piled up on him, but I, I don't know what my next thing to do is. So I'm just going to take my time, maybe G3 or something. I don't know. See what happens on the other side. Okay, a peace sacrifice from Tired Dad. Uh -huh. Typical kind of peace sack in this sort of position. To, to maybe try to, uh, to break the attack. Okay, now, Aaron Trobo, what to take back with on, on C5 with the pawn? I think the pawn. Let's kill that bishop permanently. Okay, now, Tyre Dad has gone, I guess I'll go bishop to G5. Messy game. I, well, nothing new about that, right? Nothing new about having a messy game. Okay, F6 and Tricky Mate, but I feel very happy. Do I just get rook to e1 and tricky mate? The game just switched. Zebile has gone bishop h6, and he's attacking my my uh, rook over there. Is he going to get some rookie two deal going? Bishop h6 is a good move. Um, do I do I ever have anything like a4? No, if I go a4, then he moves his queen. He's attacking two rooks. Mm hmm. So I have no choice here but to go rook to d1. Okay, uh, Aaron Trobo uh, castles rook to d1. Looks like a typical move for me. Uh, Xena, I guess I exchange rooks. I'm mean, going to start moving fast here. Queen d7 from Quam. Aha, that's a tricky move. Threatening c4 and my h-pawn. So I'm going to protect with bishop to f1. Tired dad has protected with rook to e8, and now do I just play something like bishop h3 or bishop e2? Uh, bishop e2 feels safer. What does he do What does he do with his knight then? Okay, bishop e2 looks right. Let's, uh, let's be a little safe. Uh, Zebile with rook e2, and I got, what can I do? Uh, I'm going to just go queen to b1. Queen e7 for Aaron Trobo, and now what's what? What is a good idea for me here? Uh, queen to c3, stop e5 stuff. Uh, having the Ola, I is is. Uh, 
I cannot go rook to e1 on, against him here because of uh, just queen takes e1. So I'm going to see, can, uh, is, can I play, uh, can, suppose I play queen to c1. Is no, I think I'm. I, no, I think I'm just going to go bishop to c3. That looks the safest. Okay, Zena, queen takes e6, and now I'm. I'm investigating. I thought. I. I thought that queen to c7 was a good move for me. Let's go queen to c7. E5 from Lithos. Lithos. I don't know. Uh, positionally, he looks looks weird, but it, maybe he's going to get some activity. I guess I go knight to c2. Try to get knights to, into B4 and stuff. Okay, now, um, tired dad, I'm up a piece. I'm getting in a bad time pressure. What about, will bishop h6 be the kind of move, or do I want to go pawn takes pawn first? Or, very strange move just popped into my brain, castle's king's side. What the heck kind of move is that? And maybe it's a good move. So it looks okay. F4 from um, from DLH, I, I mean, I, I think I have to be happy about that move because it, it, it locks it a little bit. So I, I think I think that move I, uh, is the first moment where I'm kind of happy here. So I'm wondering if I could be greedy here and go A4 or just I'm going to be safe and go Rook to G1 because that game I'm trying, you know, it, I've been fighting there and I got to try and keep that one somewhat under, you know, somewhat from from getting really ridiculous. Okay, now Queen F5 from Haveniola. D6 is tempting, but I don't know how long my pawn is going to last. Uh, it's a good question. I mean, he just attacks it straight out, and I have back rank trouble. I wonder if, can I go Bishop to G2 here, but then on Bishop G2, he might go Bishop G4. And what's going on there? And now I have to play rookie one. Something like rookie one here, maybe. Okay, I'm gonna I'm just gonna go bishop to g two. And uh oh, but uh let's see, and then bishop g four, rookie one's forced. Okay, I think I'm gonna try to hang on there. Okay, knight d five from Zebile. Here we go with the very strong knight, and he's threatening knight c three. So, uh, and is he threatening b6 also, sometimes? Okay, so I'm going to go queen to a1. Castles queen side against preparer. Uh, fork and pin, he's moved his knight back. And now I got to see, uh, do I have any tricks here? Tricks, bishop, uh, maybe I just go knight to d3. Trying to hang on in there. Uh, chess 24, messy, messy game. That like, oh, it's unbelievable here. I mean, this is, <laughs> I'm, I'm hanging in there. I'm hanging in. It's, 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 it's uh, very exciting. That's for sure. Okay, I'm going to cancel queenside against chess 24 and just try and get some business going. Rook c1, uh, Brownie Baker's gone bishop c5, I guess I go knight to d2. Traded queens from Xena. Maybe I'm a little better in that game. Okay, now we got we got a position with the rook lift coming up from um, DLH. So he's lifted a rook. And now, I don't know, is every, is if, if, if I trade... I, I'm not sure if he trades rooks. I think I'm happy. I'm looking. I'm I'm looking for moves like a4. I'm wondering if a4 does anything. You know, I I, I think I'm going to see. I'm going to look to see if a4 does something. Okay, c5 from Quam. Now I move my bishop out of the way, so it's not in takes. So if I go queen to a2, now then he goes knight to d6. So, okay, I'm going to go queen to a2. Xena, Xena just played rook to b8. Uh huh. And now I have all kinds of moves here. Knight to e5 I'm thinking about. I, I think I like my position here. I might have him tied up a little bit. F5 from Lithos. 
So Lithos is trying to crack it open a little bit. And I'm just trying to to keep it uh, from getting open. Now, against Lithos, do I have pawn to c5 here? Because of his bishop being on 7. I'm going to try it. Sometimes I've got to just make some moves here. Okay, knight to d7 from Aaron Trobo. And I'm going to just go bishop back to b1. Just seems like a sensible move. Sometimes I can get some, make some threats on him. Queen takes h3 from Buckeye. Wow. You know, I really set myself up for that one because my knight on c3 is hanging. So I have to go bishop, bishop to g3 and just play some kind of move like that. And that's, that's not going to be good. That was, and I said something about that also, and then I did it anyway. Queen, uh, bishop to e5 from Tahoe Sam. Bishop Tahoe Sam has gone rook a d8. And now I'm looking I'm looking for ideas like c4. C4 ideas sometimes. Something when does when is bishop takes f6 become a good move? Uh any queen traps. Bishop to c4 I could chase his queen around some. If I go bishop c4, what happens? I'm going to go bishop to c4. I don't know. Then he has queen to e4, so that doesn't do anything. Pawn to c4 looks right. Let's go pawn to c4 and see what happens there. Knight a6 from chess 24. And I'm trying to set up some stuff here. Let me go. Let me try. Is he threat something like knight to b4, I'm wondering. Okay, I'm going to go bishop to f4. Litho says go on F4. I just dropped my bishop back to F2, I guess. Crazy game. Dr. Strange move has just gone A6. Um, I have to move my knight somewhere. Let's see. If I go knight to D4, he's getting all kinds of checks and stuff. I got to admit, I'm getting a little scared here. Uh, king to B3. King to, all right, I don't know. King to b3 is, uh, is, uh, is, is, is hard to believe, but I'm going to do it. Okay, bishop to, bishop to a8 from Zena. And let's see. So now, is Zena threatening to go d4? Okay, I'm going to go rook to a7 and keep Zena from d4. Bishop to c, uh, queen to e5 from fork and pin. And I'm just going to go, all right, hold on here. This is, uh, this is a crucial moment here. Uh, knight to c2 is pretty interesting. Attacking his bishop. Bishop to f2 is probably the safe move. Okay, I'm just going to go bishop to f2. Okay, I played the ridiculous castles against tired dad. And it's really not a bad move. And now I'm looking at stuff like bishop g4. And I'm going to try to pile on the f-file. Maybe even some sacks. Okay. Uh, have an Eola, queen g5. If I go queen d2, am I going to live? I'm gonna, I, I think I have to. Rook c8 from chess 24. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try g6. It's getting, it's getting exciting all over the place. Okay, now, Zayna is, is, um, has, uh, gone bishop to b7. Now, the big thing is, is, I'm going to try to bring my king over. He's going to try to bring his king over. I think I'm just going to go king up to f1 and try to run straight up that diagonal. Yep, queen g4 from Buckeye. I set myself up for that. Lost a pawn. And what's happening now? All right. Well, that's not a, that was not the good pawn to lose. Go bishop e2 and just sort of play and see what happens there. Okay, now what's Tahoe Sam? Um, let's see what to do here. Bishop takes f6 and bishop e4, something like that looks okay. Bishop to b6 and Brownie Baker. Wow, now what happens? Bishop a6, bishop a3 to me looks like a relief. I'm telling you, in this simul, 
I'm t- I'll just take anything I could get at this point because it's a, this is this is the toughest time I've ever played. It's it's uh, it's unbelievably tough. Okay, now what's happening here with knight takes um, against qualm? I can go bishop b6 in the exchange. Should I do it? I guess under the circumstances, why not? Fork and pin has gone his bishop back to a3. Mm-hmm. And now, I don't know. I'm just sort of, I mean, this game is pretty solid. I'm not unhappy about this. I mean, it's probably pretty easy. I got to be careful of the time, though. Um, I think I'm going to try. I'm um, looking at queen to d2. Looks like a sort of a sensible move. Just maybe, maybe just h3 or something. Man. But but I don't know. Is that going to make holes? Rook to d1. Queen. I'm gonna I'm gonna try queen to d2. Just solid move here. Not doing anything exciting. That's for sure. Yep. Buckeye has just gone backwards. Makes sense. And that was really terrible. Queen to. And I even said something about it too, which is kind of funny. I mean. All right, now, um, I think Zayna just made a bad mistake because I have bishop takes d5, and I think that's out for that one. And what's happening here with with uh, queen h3 from dlh? Uh-huh. And I guess, all right, let me go a5 and just send that knight backwards. I don't think, I can't take on c4. You know, I cannot take on c4. Before I'm very glad in some of these games. All right, um, G5 from Lithos. So Lithos is sacking a pawn, and he's going to go for some attack. And on and I guess I'll just say, what's what can we do? We got to I got to do it. Okay, uh, Buckeye H5. Yep, Buckeye's. Uh, that was kind of an important pawn. I lost in H3. Of all the pawns to lose, that one was a little bit strange. Okay, queen f5 from from Havaniola. Do I want to trade off his bishops? Uh, his bishop. Uh, let's say I go bishop to b4. Is that going to be okay? At least it'll give me my queen can go to d4. Then I'll have a little more room. Okay, bishop b4 looks right. Knight d2 from uh, knight d7 from dlh. And what is happening here? If if he trades off all the rooks, I really don't mind. And if I go rook to if I go rook to f one, I, I mean my queen cannot go wandering around here. That's for sure. If I go queen to h three, what happens? Uh, queen to f one. I'm sorry. If I go queen to f one, interesting. What about? Uh, here comes the thought. Rook takes rook. What does he take it back with? I think I like that. I'm going to go rook takes rook. Lithos with the uh, uh-huh. Lithos plays rook to c6, so he's getting his pawn back like that. And I guess I'm just going to go knight to d5. Zeboil, b6, good move, of course. His knight on d5 is really annoying me. Can I do anything about it? Is there any, you know, any anything like knight e5 or some kind of tricky move like that that I could do? And if I go, let, let's say I go, all right, I'm going to go bishop to a3 what can i do but then bishop a3 queen to a5 hmm all right i think i'm gonna have to give I, i'm thinking that i have to give knight e5 a shot here desperation it seems already okay now uh rook takes c7 from qualm and can i just go rook takes c4 threatening mate from fork and pin May threat from fork and pen, but I just go bishop to g3. Does he really want, is it really worth the mate threat to trade my, my good bishop for his good bishop off? That's, you know, that's a big question there, you know. I mean, I'm not so sure that he's that he's happy about that. All right, I'm happy with, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just happy to be alive in some of these games, man. Okay, tired dad, does rook takes f7... Is rook takes f7 good? Then king takes bishop e6. And then some rook coming to f1 or queen coming somewhere. I'm going to do it. 
Okay, F takes E4 from teacher. And now we got to see what's what is uh, what's good here. 96 ideas. Uh, let's see. Let, let me try 96 ideas there and see how that goes. Is that borrow with, with uh, rook to D8? Uh-huh. And I, I have no choice here but to go bishop to A3. Rook takes C4 from Quam. And I think I'm just going to go queen takes C4. Knight G4 from Buckeye. And am I, can I bother him at all here? Bishop takes G4. Mm. Bishop takes G4. I don't know. All right. I mean, I'm going to try it. It's, it's, I don't think it's going to work, but I got to give it a shot. Okay. Bishop uh, uh, G8 from chess 24. Now, is chess 24 threatening an exchange sack on me? I'm wondering. That's a good question there. Is he threatening an exchange sack on me? So, do I, do I want to go knight to b5? This is, this is a really incredible situation we got here. I feel like I, I, I feel like I have to have something nice. I mean, there's all kinds of ideas here. I mean, but if the first thing may be to get rid of that threat by going knight to b5. Now, does he have knight to b4? I don't think so. All right, knight to b5 it is. Getting into some time pressure in some of these games here. Okay, DLH. Ooh, all right, he took out with a pawn. And now, am I just happy here to play queen? To, I'm looking here to, to see, can I go queen to g2 and offer him a trade of queens? I'm going to... I'm going to see queen to g2, offer a trade of queens. Got to be pretty happy about that. Rook takes d6 from Lithos. What about bishop to c5? That looks nice to me. Bishop takes e4 from preparer. And now do I just play bishop takes e5? That's in the Schliemann. Okay, fork and pins making some trades. I'm a little better there. Aaron Trobo has gone... Queen to F6. Now, if I trade queens, I must be better. But queen to C2 first. Interesting business. Queen to C2 first. Make him go G6. I don't know. What, what's that about? Uh, I think trading queens must be right. Bishop takes E6 from teacher. and Just take back. Queen G4 from D-O-H. Okay, now I can offer him another queen trade. Eh, what to do here? Offer him another queen trade on G4. Could that be good? All right, I'm going to offer another queen trade. Okay. Good bishop versus bad bishop. Some positions here, uh, like against fork and pin. Uh, I feel like I'm a little better. Uh, with those, let's see. Is with the, with those, um, I'm going to just take the exchange and worry about stuff afterwards. Doctor Strange move just played f6. Mm -hmm. And is he going to fry me with those remaining pieces? Is what I'm wondering. Um, he's definitely got a good chance. I think. Uh, I think that. If I go bishop to e2, no, then he'll go e5 and bishop e6 check. Uh-huh. And so bishop to d3. Knight c5 check. No. Eh. This one having uh, some trouble here. Maybe I, I'll just go bishop to g3 and try and meet stuff. Okay, rook takes e6 from teacher. How does queen d5 work? Four king rooks. Queen to, yep, queen to f5 from Quam, good move. And now, let's see, what is what what is he trying to do next? Uh, let's say I go queen e2, uh, or queen, let's say, all right, queen e2. How, how do I defend this pawn? Is bishop to c5 bothering me a lot? This is a question. So let's see. Mm. 
I might have to sack the exchange back. And now, then what does that mean exactly? So, all right, so I got to go queen e2. e5 from Dr. Strange move, yes. And now I'm looking at things like bishop to d3. This is going to be, uh, this is going to get a little bit weird here. Uh, maybe, all right, maybe king to a2 first. King to b2, pardon, first. And then I got to see what can I meet, you know, some ideas with. Okay, queen, DLH has gone uh, queen to b5. Looks like a good move. And with ideas like queen to b2. And I think that I, I, I think that I have to drop back with queen to g1 to guard myself. Bishop to c5 from Quam. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. I have a pass deep on. His knight is a little bit loose. I should be okay. I have to go rook takes c5. Rook d6 from Avaniola blockading. And then I'm just going to go queen to d4. Looks like a right thing to do. See if I could creep around there. Preparer has gone rook f8. And I think I want to trade the queens on h3. And then maybe go after his pawn. Simon's been going for, well, 4.43, and, and also we had a bit of a break there. Sorry about that again. Uh, DLH, I'm going to go queen to c1 and offer a queen trade. And now Quam, what is up with this here? Uh, I'm looking at ideas. I think if I go bishop to g2, not so easy here. D6 might be my best move, actually. Just D, D6, get this pawn going. Let me give that a try. Although, uh, if I go D6, let's say I go D6 and he goes Queen E6. What's happening there? Uh, all right, I'm going to try that. If he surrounds my pawn, then I have some hope to attack B7. Okay, I feel like Rook to E1 against Preparer to try and go after his E4 pawn. Bishop e6 from Dr. Strange move, absolutely. Threatening rook a2 check. So, let's see. I'm thinking, I'm looking at bishop to a3. Uh, bishop to d3, I think I have to try to develop. It seems like it's maybe the only move. So let's give bishop to d3 a try out and see how it turns out. I'm not hopeful, to tell you the truth, so we'll see. All right, with those, can I liquidate with knight f6 check, bishop takes, and queen takes? I'm going to do that, try and liquidate, and then take advantage after. Um, this game, deep fort, there are some games that don't seem to be turning up all the time. So, short positions all over. Queen b1 from, from uh, DLH, and now, okay, so at least I got his queen out of there. And now, can I go rook to b1? Uh, fork and pin. Do I want to trade queens? And, and if I trade queens, am I, do I have any winning chances? This is a good question. Trade queens with queens to c2. I think I'm going to try that. Try and take advantage. Maybe my king comes up or something. Okay, now it's getting down to the time where something's going to happen in the Doctor Strange move game. All right, Tahoe Sam Rook fe8. And I feel like I'm better here uh, with his king being a little open. I'm going to go a3 and see if I can get b4. And queen takes d7. I don't think I've lost any games yet. Okay, Haveniola has gone. That's a little controversial, this move, king to f8. Can I go, I, I'm wondering, I'm looking to see, can I go queen a7 or something? Does that bother anybody? Queen a7. All right. Uh, if he goes queen e4 check, I just go back. All right. Let's give it a try. Queen a7. Queen c5 also. Queen c5 may make more sense because of the pen, actually. Okay. I'm going to go queen c5. Knight g4 from preparer. And bishop e6 for me. Oh, I'm very happy. Things are looking up. Very happy. 
Okay, Lithos. Rook to e7, and now if I just get my pieces in, I'm up the exchange. I don't think he has any attack. Where's the best place for my queen? Queen f5, I, it was a first thought. Don't like it. Uh, I think I'm just going to go all the way back to d2 and see what happens after that. g5 from dlh. Okay. Now we're talking. All right. I'm looking at stuff like... Man, rook to b7 feels nice, doesn't it? I'm gonna go rook to b7. If I could snatch, if I could snatch an a pawn, I, I I think that would be very nice. Okay, Buckeye, I'm getting some stuff, but I'm wondering if he's gonna murder me on the g2 square. That's the only thing here. Okay, knight to f6 check, and we'll see. G4 from Lithos. All right, I think I'm just going to go knight to b4 and ignore that because if he wants to open the file, I think I got to be happy about that. All right, I think I'm starting now play some people in time pressure. Okay, now uh, Aaron Trobo, what do I want to do here? His knight is his knight bothering me? Is he threatening knight c3 or something like that? Uh, let's see. Then I would go with trade rooks. Maybe, maybe, maybe he's threatening knight to c3. So if he's threatening knight to c3, how do I want to, how do I want to stop that threat? Um, let's see, some back rank deals. Knight to d4, maybe. Knight to d4. I think knight to d4 looks like a good move for me. Okay, well, the Buckeye game, it's either he's going to mate me or I'm going to meet, mate him. It's one or the other. Okay, DLH, um, I got to take that A pawn. I just, it's it's just, it's just too much, man. I feel like I got to take it and try to make a queen. But um, if you go nuts with G4, I'm, my only question is, should I go queen to G1 first and stop anything? You know, is G4 going to be some idea, I'm wondering? Maybe. Okay, so if that's the case, I'm going to play a little defense. Queen G1 first. Queen e4 check from Havaniola, and I just go king to g1. Fork and pin, uh, bishop f5, I'll just go knight d4. I have some hopes there. Rook e6 from Lithos, go knight d5. Uh, c6 from S Tahoe Sam. Tahoe Sam, I kind of like all of a sudden the way my, uh, my pieces look. Um, is C5 ever going to be a good move for me? Let me, let me, let me try it. Let me go C5 and see if that's a good move for me. Queen E6 from Quam. Mm -hmm. And so now let's see what to do here. Queen D2. Yeah, Queen. All right, I'm going to try Queen D2 and just keep trying to keep my pawn. Maybe bother him with something. Uh oh, knight e three from Zebile. Oh, this 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 could be this could be serious. Bishop takes, and then what does he want? Some kind of rook takes, and queen e two, and then bishops b sevens and everything. That's uh that that looks uh, that looks uh, pretty serious. So that means what kind of move can I do to stop this business? Knight to c six. Knight to c6, I don't believe it one bit. He probably has knight takes g2. So bishop takes, rook takes, and then rook takes g2, and some bishop b7, and, and then his queen's coming in. Yeah, this is uh, this is not so good. Knight e3 is a good move. And let's see, knight c6 is not going to be too beautiful. What else is there? Uh, I move my rook to e1. That doesn't make much sense. Uh, bishop to f3. Mm, knight takes f1. I think I'm going to have to try. Bishop, I think I have to try bishop to f3. Okay. Uh, knight d7 from Aaron Trobo. Mm -hmm. And let's see. Uh, g3. Knight c5 from dlh. Uh-oh. I didn't. I. I don't think I saw that. What's happening? Did not see that. But is it? Is it? Is it the end of the world? 
Rook takes a7. Queen, queen takes... Queen takes rook. Nah. So what's my deal here? If I take... If I, ta if I go rook takes pawn... So if I, t if I take the knight, then he's got queen d1 check. Takes He takes my bishop. I take on g5. He goes check, king up, check. I don't know. I mean, is is that a draw? I think I would be happy. I, I think I would be happy with a draw. So let me, let me take on, let me take on c5. Okay, Aaron Trobo, uh, doubling rooks, and now can I just go knight to e two? I'm, 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 no, I'm, I'm on the lookout for some scary stuff here. There's really some scary stuff. I mean, there's knight c three stuff. There's things like that. So I want to see how do I? Uh, is there a way to get out of the way of of, of everything? Uh, can I go? If I go knight to b three. And he does that knight c3 thing. Uh, yeah, I think I'm happy with that. Okay, I'm going to go knight to b3. Queen takes d2 from dlh. Okay, now, there's pawns coming in. Queen takes g5 is threatening mate. And then he must go back. Does he have to take perpetual check? I'm going to give it a shot. Okay, uh, bishop to h4 from Lithos. And let me see what to do here. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, should I take on g4? I think I'm going to take on g4 now. Okay, chess 24. This one is, uh, th this one's getting very exciting. He played rook to c6 to stop my threat. Um, I'm wondering if I should. I'm wondering if, if I'm allowed to go knight takes a7 and snatch a pawn and then reset it. All right, I'm going to try that. Snatch a pawn and then just try to reset it. Okay, Doctor Strange move is threatening some serious stuff here. Uh, let's see. So, knight e2 check back. So if I go bishop to b1, what's the deal? I think do I have to go bishop to b1? Takes, takes. All right, I'm going to try bishop to b1. Okay, rook b6 from chess 24. Time pressure all over the place. Knight to c8. Knight made it to the bottom, forking his queen and rook. That looks nice, doesn't it? Okay, fork and pin has given me opportunity for a good knight versus a bad bishop. I have to take that. I can't turn it down. Queen f6 from, from chess 24. Aha. He's threatening my bishop with uh, he, he's threatening my bishop with check. So that's the point. I see. Okay. So where do I want to put my bishop now? Uh, how about just uh, bishop to g three? Why not? At least his queen's out of the way. Okay. Now against fork and pin. What's the deal here? Can I, I'm 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 wondering if when I could win pawns. Like, uh, should I, can I go knight to c6 right now and just go after some pawns? Uh-oh, Quam, did, 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 did Quam fall for a trick? Quam went knight e4, thinks he's winning my pawn, and I go d7. Queen d1 check from, from dlh, and now here's the moment of truth, the perpetual check, or what? Uh, so I go king g2, he goes queen e2, I go king g1, and let's see what happens. Maybe, I, maybe I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with a draw in that game, I could tell you that. Okay, queen e5 against Haveniola, I feel like I'm okay here now. Uh, let's see, do I want to do any uh, checks? Nah, I think h4 making some air feels right. Bishop h4 from Lithos. Lithos is uh, is trying to set up some threats, maybe with Bishop g3 ideas. Um, I'm very I'm, I I would be happy if somehow I could trade the queens. Let's see. Um, let me just go queen. I guess I should go. He's threatening knight takes e4, right? So let me just go queen to e2. But then if he goes, 
Rook H6, is this Bishop G3 stuff really a big threat? It might be. So what's, what is the best way for me to do this then? What is the best way, what is the best way to keep, try and protect my position here? Rook to C3, he goes, knight takes E4. That's, I, I, that doesn't feel right, does it? No. Uh, queen to D3, still with this bishop H3 idea, huh? Okay. What about um, any, uh, let's see, any threats of, like, uh, getting rooks to the bottom? All right, I'm going to go queen to c2. Maybe I can make some queen trades. Okay, knight, uh, uh, rook c6 from from chess 24. And now, okay, uh, I'm going to go knight back to a7. Looks like, um, okay, now what's happening here with fork and pen? I go check and take a pawn. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, my, I, I wish my king was further up the board. Okay, I'm just going to go king to g1 and get my king up. Okay, now Buckeye, Buckeye is threatening mates and stuff. So, all right, if I go rook takes e4, rook takes e4. Let's see, pawn to f3, bishop takes f3. Um, rook takes e4. Rook takes e4. I think I I, I don't know. I got to do that, but I I think it's uh, I I think it's probably lost. Um, any other moves make sense? Uh, threatening mate? Not really. F4. Nah. Then my queen can. Then my only hope is getting. All right, I have to go rook e4, but uh, I think it's just lost here. Okay. Now what's happening? Uh, um, Fork and pins coming up with his king. At what moment do I chase his? All right, I'm going to come up with my king. I think I'm just better here, but I, how much? I, how much is a good question? Getting in the time pressure all over the place. Uh, knight to b5. Okay, from uh, now. Um, when is when is it going to be a threat for? Okay, I'm going to go rook to e1. This is the game with chess 24 is very exciting. Also, g3, uh, some t time pressure all over the place. I'm glad for 30 seconds. I never thought I'd say I'm glad for 30 second increment. All right, so here we are with Buckeye. Gonna go queen h6 and I I I don't know. Okay, have any Ola, King G8. Um man, I, I, I don't know. I feel like I'm pretty safe here. Suppose I uh can I go king two let's see, uh I don't want I don't want to quit I, I don't want to go into any kind of rook ending, I think. That's for sure. Okay, I'm going to go king to h2. Draw. Okay, what's happening with doh? Are we making the draw? Rook c6 from uh, Lithos. Uh-huh. Okay, so d does that mean, do, do I gain any kind of time? Okay, queen e2. Uh, looks like... Um, DLH might be a, oh DLH offer me a draw oh. I will be glad offer him a draw back and be glad that I made a draw there. Um, that was a great move he played with Bishop to e4. That was just a great move when he when he did Bishop to e4. Okay now we have chess 24 DLH and and uh, um, I don't know what's going on here. It went back to the beginning. So I don't know I don't know what's I don't know what's going on there. I don't think we're playing another game. Uh, Chess24 has just played knight to b4, attacking my c2 pawn. I mean, is his queen out of it? If his queen is out of it, I think I'm going to be okay. So do I go pawn to c3? I'm looking at knight takes a2. Okay, uh, c3 looks looks right.
Okay, now, uh, fork and pen. Can I go knight b4 and snatch a pawn? And then start to get my king up. Draw? That's what that's that's what I'm wondering. Okay. Uh, Tahoe Sam. F5, I see. So where do I go? Queen e2. Uh, queen c4. G5 from having Eola. I guess I'll take that. Oh, man. What happened to the Talican game? We're both thinking too much. All right, Aaron Trobo, what's happening? Do I have bishop to f5? Hoping for some pin action. Uh, looks like uh, Zebile, it might, is Zebile the first winner? Uh, uh, he might be. Let's see. Any moves? Rook f1, rook takes a2 is pretty convincing. Bishop takes e2. I have to resign against Zebulon. Good game. Fork and pin. Uh, let's see. I guess I'll just take on a6. Good knight versus a bad bishop type of position. I think fork and pin resign. Yes, it was just going to be a win. But fork and pin was playing a good game up until he went bishop d6, threatening the mate and allowing me to trade the good bishop for the bad bishop. When he did that, that's when your position became worse. Don't ruin your position for a mate threat. I mean, you got to figure that I was probably going to see it, right? All right, Buckeye is about to rack up one also. Okay, now, have an Eola. Let's bring his king up. Tahoe Sam. So I feel like, I don't know, did I lose two or I'm going to lose two? Tahoe Sam is up in the air also. This is a hard game. This is a very hard game also. Rook d5, uh huh. Looks like a good move. Uh, let's see now. The thing is, my queen on my queen on c4. I'm, I'm not not so happy about where that one is. All right, I I guess I, I don't know. I thought my queen is happier on e2, so I'm going to go queen to e2. Okay, king g7 from having Eola, and what's going on here as far as? What's what's he trying to do with progress? Aha, is he trying to mate me on h1? Uh, could be. Could be. So let's see. Uh, so when he goes rook h6, what, what kind of move do I do? See, I mean, if I trade queens on d4, I just, it, it just can't, it just can't be good. Uh, what about any any ideas with any rook endings? How about, uh, I don't know, something like queen to c8. Does that do anything? I don't know. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm running low on time here. G4 came. This is, I don't know what, to, what, what exactly to do here. Rook to d2 is kind of a strange move. Rook to d2. I don't know. Check. King moves. All right. I don't know. Rook to d2 is a weird-looking move, but I'm going to give it a try. All right. Queen takes f3 from Lithos. All right. I'm going to trade queens. Uh, Talikin, real bad time pressure for both sides. I'm going to go. I'm going to go f3. Now, uh, let's see what happens here. Lithos, I think I'm just happy to trade rooks. He doesn't have a lot of stuff left. I'm in time pressure. I, I think I'm doing okay. Bishop e7 from chess 24. If I, let's see, I got to make sure I don't have any checks. King to b1, make that knight go back. 
before and rook h4 from buckeye absolutely and that's going to be the winning move so so i was close but no cigar rook e d8 from tahoe sam and what do i do here uh 90 looking looking at some some ideas but maybe rook a2 try and remaneuver re try and maneuver my knight around Okay, F takes G6 from from uh, chest 24. So a piece sack. Uh-huh. So now, I don't know. Do I just want to go, maybe maybe, maybe I want to go bishop takes E6 and not, not take this piece. Bishop takes E6. All right, well. Knight C3 check from Doctor Strange move, uh, and I go back King B1. Is it possible I could be making a draw here? I don't know. I'm a little bit uh, sort of well skeptical. Would be uh, some uh, one word. Okay, cool. uh, Tahoe Sam Bishop G7. I'm gonna go Knight to D2. F4 from Talikin. Uh huh, and now. Is he prying me open? Is uh, and and how how does he do it? Um, I wish my queen could get back into it. Uh, if I let's see, if I go queen to b three and get my queen to c two, is that going to help? All right, I'm going to try to get my queen back into it. It's a little bit out of the way. All right, good game from Buckeye. Hanging my age palm was not one of the best things that ever happened. <laughs> Bishop G5 from Lithos, and I, I think that this one is under control. That one is one of the more relaxing games. And Dr. Strange move, is it possible I'm making the draw? Simul's been going for a little more than two hours, normal Simul. Uh, probably the hardest Simul I've played, I'm telling you, really a hard Simul. Um, I, uh, I don't usually think about what openings I'm going to play in a Simul. But I think this time I really need to. Okay, now uh, having Eola is uh, is threatening to mate me. So I think uh, I have to offer. I think I have to trade queens. Uh oh, Bishop B three check from Doctor Strange move. Doctor Strange move says no draw. With those, I figure I gotta push, start pushing my H pawn at any moment, and that that maybe will wrap it up. Okay, uh, Doctor Strange move. Uh huh. With Rook to B two, threatening my bishop, and uh, and I have to move my bishop somewhere. Uh, I could go Knight to D two. What is Knight to D two? Threatening his knight. It's not really helping. Oh, it's threatening his knight and his bishop. Hmm. Knight to d2, and he goes knight to c3. Huh. Bishop takes h7. Hard to believe. Bishop takes h7. Okay, I'm going to do bishop takes h7. Uh, rook df8 from uh, Talokin, and I'm going to go queen c2. Get my queen back into this deal. Uh, okay, Air Trambo. Um, do I, I, I won the exchange. Do I want, but is it good to take the exchange or good to be greedy and take the pawn? No, it's got to be right to take the exchange. Okay, King F7 from chess 24. And now I can get two pieces for a rook, but maybe my knight is not so good. So, uh, do I just want to move my, uh, do I just go rook to E1? And then maybe try and take that knight. Okay. So I'm in an ending against Haveniola.
All right. Really happy against Air Trambo. Good. Uh, okay. Now, have any old, what, what do I do here? Um, can I push my pawn? If I push my pawn, can I, do I have any hope of winning D6 or something? Um, uh, like, uh, ace, if I go win the A7 pawn, that would make me happy, but. Okay, so let's say I go d6. I must. I have to play it a little bit active here. All right, I'm going to go a4 against uh, Lithos and just get on with my pass pawn. Okay, uh, king f7 from chess 24. And now, um, can I take a knight? If I take the knight, is the other knight getting out? Okay, I'm going to take the knight. Or do I take a pawn on G? Do I take on G6 first? Yes, let me do that first. Let me clear that up. Okay, now knight D2 from Tahoe Sam. I just played that. His clock's ticking three minutes for me. This exchange French is really kind of an underrated opening. Uh-oh, Bishop C3 from Tahoe Sam. Uh, that's pinning me up. I don't know if I, I don't know if I saw that. I'm gonna have problems here. I think I, I think I just lost it in one move there with that move. Yep, I think so. So, so he just he, he has me all tied up here. Rook D1. I'm just all pinned. All right, I'm gonna try Rook to D1 anyway, but uh, I'm all pinned. Rook h8 from Havaniola, and now, let's see, d7, then he goes king e7, huh? So do I want to go rook to d5? Rook d5. Okay, e5 from Talakin, and now I, I can go on some mission and take a pawn on h5. But I don't know what that does. I feel like I should take on e5 and try to open up the position a little bit. All right. Um, am I taking a knight on b4 against twist, just 24? Okay. I have any old. Uh, now, what bothers me is he's going to be after my b pawn, huh? And he might get both b pawns. This is a real situation. So he gets both B pawns. That isn't gonna be that isn't gonna be good for me. So can I go king to E? Let me let me try king to E one, king to F one. Okay, uh, uh, knight takes for Talakin, and so where do I go with my bishop? Uh, it's it's uh, my. Can I go bishop back to? Okay, and it's knight rook A two from. Doctor Strange move, threatening Rook A1 check, right? Okay, so now can I go, if I go Knight to D2, that's my best try. Okay, I have any Ola, I take on G5. Aaron Trobo, uh, let's see now. What is what is my best way for me to do this against him? Maybe, maybe. All right, I don't have a lot of time, so I'm gonna just go fast. Okay, rook takes d2, and now I go rook to c rook to c5. I, I'm not exactly sure what's going on against Aaron uh, against this thing. All right, Aaron Trobo, I'm gonna sack the exchange back for a pass pawn. Okay, hold on. Lithos, is this it? Rook to b1. Bishop takes b4 from Tahoe Sam. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Yeah, why not? Huh? Everybody's pinned. What? Uh, no, I, I, I thought I had queen c4, but that hangs my rook. So... Some kind of move. Okay, so now um, takes uh, if, if I if I take on e three, queen g six. So I take on e three against Talon. and he takes back with a queen? Uh, 
two connected pass pawns for uh, having the old is going to could be a problem. Queen e3 check from Talkin. Okay, now do I want to go on some mission here and take some pawns? Queen g6. Let me just. Oh, uh, Queen e3 is check. I'm sorry. I have to move my king first. Um, I think Avenola is just winning here. He's getting both my pawns. King f5 from um, from chess 24. And if I go rook to d6. Okay, looks like Lithos is just about done. And and now Aaron Trobo. What's what is uh, what is my deal here? I've transposed into uh some sort of winning game. Uh I think I should be winning. I'm up a pawn for nothing. Yep. Avenue is going to have two connected pass pawns. Okay, good move from Tahoe Sam. And does that about do it in that game? Uh, probably. Okay, good game from Tahoe Sam. So I think I have three losses. Um, I, I think I must have been better there, and then, you know, I don't know what, I, I don't have the faintest idea what I did. It just, just got very strange. Okay. Rook takes d5 against Talonkin. Looks like a good move. Get get closer. Uh, not much hope here against Haveniola. I mean, maybe I could win his f-pawn, but then that's a, that's got to be some kind of easy race that he's winning, but I'll try. So good simul from everybody. Um... A lot of uh, ridiculous openings, uh, openings that got got really out of control. And now, aha! Uh -huh, so Doctor Strange move is gone. Rook to B one check, and now I go Bishop all the way back to B one. Is that going to be okay? Bishop all the way back to B one. Block the checks. Having the always starting to get his pawns going. Rook g7 from Talakin. Mm -hmm. And now, let's see. Rook takes d6. like to get my queen in there somehow. Bother him. Yep, okay. Rook takes d6. Aaron Trobo coming up, um, uh, let's see, with this, with his king. All right, I go king to d4. Rook to d8 from chess 24. Um, I guess I should take a pawn with check. Bishop c4 from Dr. Strange move. Okay, all my stuff is finally protected. So, can I just go f3 or f4? Does it matter? One or the other. Get my rook into the game. I'd be very happy. So, let me go f3. Bishop takes e2 from Talakin. Hmm. And what if I go rook to e1? Trying to get into some weird position against against Aveniola, but I, I, I think he's, he's so far ahead in the race. King g4 from chess 24. And now I'm looking at knight takes... I'm looking at knight to e5 check to uh, get get on with some liquidation here, or knight to d2 looks okay. Now, if I go knight takes e5, knight takes e5, strange business there. I don't know. Don't know about this. Maybe knight h2 check. Just keep all the stuff. Okay, knight h2 check. Okay, rook e8 from Talakin. And now... Looking at some kind of stuff here. Rook to d2. Queen to rook to d2. And then he's getting pinned all over the place. Give it a shot. Why not? 
Okay, so King H3, every, everybody's protected in the chess 24 game. Can I move my knight backwards and consolidate myself for a change? Air Antrobo, did he just allow me a trade of rooks? And that should do it. Okay, bishop to c4 from Dr. Strange move, and I go king to f2. I can't prepare for simuls, but when people play stuff like, you know, when, when you get when you get an opening like we just did with the Schliemann and all, and, so, and the Schliemanns and the Budapests really killed me today. Those 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 are what did me in. Even if I didn't lose those games, it made me pay attention to the other boards, and that and that just that just messed me up. Okay, can I go rook takes e two? Okay, have any Ola, any hope here? His pawns are coming down. Uh, is there any hope of me just if if I just push things? No, I I I think that this is I think this is just uh, this pretty over. I don't know. I'm gonna try rook f4 check. I don't know what it does. Uh, bishop g5 from chess 24. And I think I'm just going to play calm and play a3. Give my king air just in case. Queen g6 check looks good against Talokin. Uh Now, this pawn ending against Aaron Trobo, I mean, it can't be a draw, can it? No, I, I don't think so. All right, I'm looking at rook takes e6, king takes e6. Uh, C6, king d6, c7, king takes c7, king e5, and I clean him out, I think. Well, I'm going to do it, but maybe I can prepare it a little bit, too. Yeah, I think having Eola is going to just uh, roll in there. Uh, threatening mate, I go check, nothing to do. All right, hold on. Aaron Trobo, can I, can I zugzwag him here? First h3. Or uh, if h4, no. Yeah, h4 might be, g4 might be a good move. Let me go h3. Okay, Havaniola, I think I'm done. Yep, okay, good game from Havaniola. And bishop to... Bishop to d3 from, from Dr. Strange. Okay, now... I've unraveled myself nicely here. Can I just go rook to e1? Taking lots of pawns with check in the Talukin game. Okay, bishop takes b1. And now, I guess, hmm, rook takes, he, if he trades... I don't know. I guess rook takes should be right. All right. Uh, chess 24 has offered a trade on d5, and do I want to take that trade or not? Uh, with knight to b6. Uh, rook to c5, something like that looks nice for me. Um, yeah, okay. Let's try rook to c5. Maybe I can get some pass pawns out of this deal. Okay, now against Talokin, I can't take any more pawns with check. So, uh, let me let me just put my queen in a better position. We'll go queen f6 first, and then and then and then I'll start to do stuff. Okay, now um, I have to be a little careful with back rank stuff. So I'm thinking pawn to h4. And and what's the pin deal? I think I'm okay. So pawn to h4 looks right. Doctor Strange move. We're still fighting. I'm 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 getting my king over there. I I feel like this is the best position I've had in a really long time, and that makes me pretty happy.
Chess 24, I just forked some pieces. I don't know if it's good. I just did it. It looks nice. H5 from Aaron Trobo, and now is H4 a Zugzwang. His king moves back. My king moves in. I think that should wrap it up. Sorry about the disconnect or whatever it was. Computer froze. I don't know what happened there. And um, so thanks, everybody. I'll see you. I hope to see everybody in June. And as this one winds down, it was, it was uh, you know, like I said, with those with those openings, you don't, you, you don't, it's not often I get to play against Budapest defenses. I mean, it's, there was a Budapest defense. It was funny. Um, it was in chorus whenever um, the Hungarian player, Richard Rappert, was playing against Gelfan. I was like, man, Gelfan's going to just kill him. And Gelfan didn't, didn't have a clue because maybe he never played against it before. So thank you, Aaron. And, and, and Tro I don't know, Aaron Tro, but it wasn't a bad game. I just think that you got to try to organize C5 better. So I think it's GG or maybe it's IG, but I don't think it was a bad game at all. Uh, it, it it was not a bad game. It, it was it's just in those in in those Slavs. If it, it's it's if you organize C5, black is okay. Black's maybe even better. If you don't or organize C5, then what ha what happens happens. I clamp down on the C5 square, and that becomes trouble. So that's the main point of that of, of that opening, one or the other. So you have to make sure you get C5 in. After I got knight C5 and I killed your bishop, then it's just it's just no fun at all for black. But thanks for playing, and uh, you know, I hope to see you again next month. Not sure if there's any other games. I thought there might be one more. They're over. Um, that the, the one game uh, ended. Um, uh, so Chess twenty four resigned. So uh, and and um, also oh, and uh, Doctor Strange move resigned. I guess my king is just coming up and taking his stuff. Yeah. So, but it was a very hard simul. So I want to thank everybody um, for for playing and hope to see you guys next month. Have uh, next month June. Uh, I wish everybody a good day and a good night and um, hope to see you again. So this is uh, GM John Fedorovich from Greenwich Village in New York City. Uh, thanks for tuning in and thanks for playing in my um, Simul Master Simul for May of the year 2005. Thanks a lot, everybody. Take care. Thank you, Sandro.